Also declared a state of emergency due to the immediate threat of wildfires. And after last year's fires all across our area, we're all wondering if it will happen again this year. As KZI 9 News reporter Gray Smith shows us, fire season is not off to a great start. It just takes the, a start in the wrong place at the wrong time and, and uh, we'll be back to chasing big fire. Oregon's 2020 wildfire season brought an unprecedented level of destruction that nobody had seen before. Over 1 million acres burned, 4,000 homes destroyed, and so far this year? Things are not looking real good. You know, we've been in extreme drought for about eight weeks now, and so that's left trees, leaves, grass to get all dried up. They're just waiting to catch on fire. As of right now, according to ODF, there are currently 425 fires burning on state lands. 7,500 acres have already been burned, and that's compared to a 10-year average of 231 fires and less than 2,000 acres at this point in the year. We are in a, in a tough fire condition. You know, uh, we're experiencing fires every day in a number of areas within the state. Chad Minter, chair of the Lane County Defense Board, has already dispatched one task force to Redmond, where a fire is burning near the airport. He says yesterday's declaration from Governor Brown will make it easier for counties to provide mutual aid with each other. It helps us, you know, it helps us respond faster in uh, conflagration acts or, or, or fire emergencies and move resources around the state. Reporting in Eugene, Grace Smith, KEZI 9 News.